okay guys uh, so we have installed our uh, Procona extra backup and now to take the uh, I just wanted to you guys to know that how we can take the uh, full backup and how we can like uh, uh, you, you or I have how we can uh, take the incremental backup as well okay so we will take the full backup and then we will take two incremental backup here and then uh, we are going to prepare them and, uh, and then we will try to restore them as well uh, what I'm doing here is that I'm taking uh, the backup on the same server and then I will stop the MySQL uh, and then I will uh, going to delete the files and then I will restore it on the same server uh, you guys can copy it to another server as well uh, it's just the same thing uh, you can do that as well so in order to do that uh, uh, we have our MySQL running okay uh, and I have stored my credential here uh, if you see here uh, in the home directory uh, it's in the my.cnf file okay so I'm using the root user uh, you guys can have uh, a full another user and give it some grants uh, which is required uh, and uh, uh, I have this uh, directory created uh, uh, slash data slash backup uh, this is where uh, I'm going to take all my uh, backups so in order to do that uh, we have uh, our command here uh, which is extra backup dash dash backup this is going to take the full backup and this is our directory uh, where it is uh, this is the directory and uh, this is the folder it's going to create so this is we will base directory uh, for the full backup and on top of this base directory we are going we will be taking the incremental backups I'm not providing here the dash dash uh, default file uh, our configuration file because uh, Percona automatically go to the slash etc and uh, my.cnf uh, if you guys uh, want to provide that uh, you can uh, provide that as well so uh, let's let me show you uh, what is the variable okay uh, minus h I guess it's uh, extra backup yeah. just run it and it's going to uh, tell you everything uh, it is Here it is, yeah. Backup D D D D D D. Procona extra backup. Uh, it is like something like uh, this, like it's a default uh, dash file. Okay, so this is the variable which is uh, going to use it. Uh, uh, this is has allow a uh, so big list. Uh, that is why I'm not mentioning it here. Uh, but in case uh, you want to have it, uh, you can uh, do it from here. Uh, so let's uh, go uh, with our command, uh, which is our extra backup command, and let's take the full backup. Uh, as I told, dash dash backup, and this is my target directory. So uh, this is going to start the backup. Okay and once I start the backup uh, let me show you what's inside this cd slash uh, data uh, backup and base okay uh, these are the files uh, this one uh, it's going to store uh, what is uh, like uh, the binary log positions and all that till which it has taken the backup uh, this is the uh, read log files okay uh, which are going to be used for the recovery when we are going to prepare uh, and this one uh, is our configuration backup it has taken okay everything here uh, and it knows that uh, most of the thing uh, what are the things which I'm going to uh, use so this is uh, these are the things which is uh, it is going to take uh, and obviously the MySQL database uh, IBD data system data file buffer pool and all that uh, this is the change buffer and perform a schema sys and like uh, undo so these are all the things uh, it is uh, going to uh, take the backups of it and checkpoint uh, uh, this will be this uh, file uh, is if you see here uh, this file will be used uh, for the like uh, till which uh, uh, log sequence number it has taken and if you are going for the incremental and it knows that this is my uh, LSN numbers and all that uh, so it can like if there is any uh, like any transaction uh, need to be rolled back and things like that so it is uh, going to perform that so it is going to uh, use this file for it so let's clear uh, clear and uh, let's take the incremental backup on top of that so now this is our incremental okay uh, I have provided the base directory okay so I'm telling it that this is your incremental base directory so uh, th there is a full backup inside this directory and you will uh, be uh, taking that as a base directory and you will create a new incremental uh, backup uh, which is our target dash 
dir uh, so it will create a new directory uh, in the name of uh, inc1 and it will create the incremental backup so if you see here cd dot dot uh, pwd now we have two okay so one is base and one is inc1 so let's take another backup as well and it's going to create um, another one what was my command uh, this was my command okay I uh, just changed the name uh, here and I provided uh, the new but uh, like base directory if last time we provided the base here and now we have INC because we know uh, this is your previous uh, incremental backup so you will need to uh, take it from there so if you see here last time it was base but now it's uh, INC one so that is how uh, you are going to do it so you will have to change uh, your incremental base directory so to prepare this backup uh, what we're going to use here is that uh, another command uh, first one Okay, just let me show you uh, this one okay uh, if you are going to prepare uh, the prepare step for incremental backup is not uh, the same as the full uh, backups okay uh, in full backup like uh, two types of operation are performed uh, to make the database consistent okay committed transaction are replayed uh, from the log files against the data file and uncommitted transaction are rollback so you must keep the uh, roll back of uncommitted transaction when preparing an incremental backup because transaction that were uncommitted uh, at the time of your backup uh, may be in progress so at uh, so as uh, and it's likely that uh, they will be committed in the next incremental backup so you should use like the apply log only option to prevent that rollback phase okay so if you are going for uh, applying for incremental backup then you will have to use uh, apply log only on that so okay so first what we are going to do is that we are going to prepare our base backup so with that you will have to provide apply uh, log only so if there is any uh, transaction which uh, needed to be rolled back or if uh, the transaction uh, needed to be rolled back in the next incremental backup so uh, let's prepare it okay which we directly we are going to first uh, the base one okay and we will have to pre provide dash dash prepare and uh, along with the uh, apply log only as well so that is done and next we what we are going to do here is that so ll just wanted to show you uh, what we are going to hear is that uh, now the target directory is this one okay uh, last time the target directory was uh, the base but now the target directory is uh, the same okay it's the same but uh, incremental directory here comes another one uh, we'll have to provide this directory so this is our incremental backup and take and apply log from this incremental backup to where apply it on the base directory okay so if there is any logs here as well ready logs and all that and any changes has happened so it will be applied to this directory so that is how you uh, apply your incremental backup so uh, and we also have this apply log as well because we know that we have another incremental backup to apply that is why we are going to have apply log only as well with the prepare command so if you uh, you will see the difference in the next one because uh, that will be our last uh, incremental backup will apply so that will, the command uh, will not have uh, this apply log uh, only uh, option so now everything is done okay uh, ll so now if you see here i have removed that uh, that test log apply log uh, so now only we have is uh, only prepare command so and the base directory is this and our uh, incremental directory is this one one more thing uh, you need to uh, like uh, have in mind that Procon extra backup does not support uh, using the same incremental backup directory to prepare two copies of the backup okay so do not use, uh, use uh, do not run dash dash prepare with the uh, same incremental backup directory uh, the value of incremental and the this one okay so this should not be the same uh, you should have a different one so now we have is that uh, inc2 or we want to apply this one and this is our last backup so that is why we are not going to uh, provide that dash dash apply log only option so this time we are only going with the dash dash repair uh, and let's do that as well So now as our backup is uh, already prepared and it's ready uh, to be up so what we are going to uh, do here is that uh, let's apply uh, stop the mysql and uh, then we will remove everything from this uh, location uh, because we know 
that uh, this is where our uh, backup is uh, this is where all the file are stored so we are going to remove them and then I will show you that now it is gone everything is deleted okay and then we will copy it uh, from where we are going to copy it because it's already prepared in the this base directory and the command uh, we will using for the restore is dash dash copy wake so this is our last command we are going to execute and we have an error here uh, cannot okay uh, the reason behind is that uh, I provided the wrong uh, uh, yeah this should be data yes so now if you see uh, everything is copied back and if I show you here LL uh, the last time it was empty this time it has everything but everything is under root user so it should not be uh, like that so we are going to change okay CH uh, on uh, CH on minus R oh, let me copy the command so not to waste the time so if you see here now uh, everything is under mysql user so now we are going to uh, start the mysql server so that is how you guys can take the backup uh, you can take the multiple incremental backup then you have to apply the logs on the uh, on the backup on the like uh, the base backup uh, we have applied two incremental backup and then we have to prepare the last one uh, and uh, then we, what we did is that deleted uh, everything which we had and then we uh, copied back like you can say restore it and then we change the uh, uh, change the permission as well here and then if you see here and then we started the mysql server so now if you see here mysql is up and running so thank you guys for this one and i uh, just wanted to show you guys how things are working with the extra backup so you should know uh, thank you so much i'll see you in the next one